call a yard. And again, the Broncos are three and out. Off the fingertips of Stokely. He's yeah. making an appeal. Oh, they threw a flag on sportsmanlike conduct. Yes, yeah, Stokely, uh, the flag thrown by that back judge who he ran down. Unsportsmanlike conduct. On the offense, number 14. Contact in an official. Number 14 is ejected. Oh, on top of it, he's tossed. Wow. Now, they've already lost McKinley, one Royal. of the receivers. Eddie, Eddie Royal, Royal is out. And Brandon Stokely, kind of the move receiver who they put a lot of... Trying to see if he touches. Oh, he hit his arm as he walked yeah. away. I'm going to see them get on track and not rely on big players. Travis LeBoy with a nice hit on Justin... on. Uh... Colbert, no gain on the play. Oh, now that's Justin bad. Smith's going to get flagged. Now, let me tell you, that's, this guy right here, that umpire, that's Garth D. Felice. He's one of the toughest umpires in the National Football League. And he's not afraid to jump in the middle of the fight and break it up, which he was trying to do there. Justin Smith wasn't aware that it was him. and kind of gave him a swat. After the play, personal foul on Terry Rupp, number 94 of the defense. Against an official, and it requires an automatic disqualification of number Ooh. 94. Oh, that's huge. First from 10 is an end around. Lewis Murphy down the sideline. Lewis Murphy, who actually scored his first career touchdown on a 12 yard run against Detroit two weeks ago. It's 27 yard pickup, but a penalty marker is thrown. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense, number 98. There is half the distance to the goal line. And number 98 was ejected for the game because it was contact with an official. This is this is brutal right here. You see the see the run right there. Yeah, that's it right there. You can't you can't hold him. You gotta let him get off the ground. Lewis Murphy trying to get up, and then he has contact with the official. Marv, you mentioned he's their best pass rusher right now. 11 sacks coming to today's game. They can't afford to lose a player like Antoine Barnes. Two receiver route. So there's all kinds of defensive backs back there, and they still blow the coverage. Rob Barone is kicking off. Darren Sproles from the six. Sproles, not much of a lane, squeezes through it. And the spin move brought down at the 33-yard line by Rennie Curran, the rookie on special teams. Flags come down. I think they're going to get Donnie Nicky for a personal foul here. Number 23 just took a shot at one of the Chargers. And now uh, Bill Levy's going to go over and tell Jeff Fisher what he saw. There has been a lot of extracurricular activities following the whistle. Bill Levy listened to Jeff Fisher, but it's not going to change his mind. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness for number 23 of the kicking team. Hit the official in the chest. He is ejected. Wow. Donnie Nicky, a special teams ace, has been ejected. Nicky making contact with an official, and his day is done here in the fourth. Now, this is very unusual. In the circle is Bill Levy, our official. 63 is Scott Murchkowski, and on the ground is Donnie Nicky. Nicky gets up because he doesn't like Murchkowski holding him down like that. Levy trying to break things up, and Levy gets a shot to the chest from Nicky. Nicky was not trying to hit Levy. He's trying to hit Murchkowski. Anyway, he is done, as you said, and on his way to a shower. So Nicky has been tossed. Four wide receivers set on third and a ton. Intercepted. Antoine Winfield, the veteran. And after the play, a flag came in, so we'll check the penalty. Looks like the turnover will stand.
After the last turnover, the fumble by Chris Johnson, the Vikings got a personal foul. After the play is over, first the foul, unnecessary roughness, number 22. Throw an official out of the direction. He has disqualified himself from the game. Oh, he threw a punch. And that is the rookie, Harrison Smith, who has been a big part of this defense. And then a moment ago, he threw, if he threw a punch, even if he doesn't connect, and even if it's open-handed, he has to be ejected, and he'll have to leave the bench area and go shower. He's done for today. He's been disqualified. Right there, there's that. Oh, I see. Oh, he threw the official. He yeah. threw the official off himself. Plus back, well under six foot. Oh, boy. D'Angelo Hall looked like he was getting to, into something with the officials. Oh, there we go. And he had the wrestling match with Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah, he got up. That, that's all well and good. But oh, now can't take your out. helmet can't off. Take your helmet off. That's a penalty. Official, you can see, reaching for his flag right there. Yep. Boy, this is uh, this is going to cost you. This is this is not good. D'Angelo Hall has had issues like this, and to continue to go after it, there are his teammates need to get in number there. Number 23. Right here. Right here. Sports Hall Number 23. There's a foul against an official. Number 23 on Sports Hall Life. They'll be both will be in force. And. The Redskins have taken the final team timeout. And number 23 has been expected. They started with this play and this wrestling match with Emmanuel Sanders. And they really didn't go after one another. That, that's the interesting part there. It's not like he went after Sanders and the official tried to intercede. He just immediately went right for the official. I, I, it's, this is a hard Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to rightfully so going to cost him. He'll be lucky if he doesn't get suspended for next week as well. Over. Both like conduct penalties against the official. Both will be enforced. Unsportsmanlike conduct defense number 56. Unsportsmanlike conduct defense number 89. 99. Both penalties will be enforced. First up. So it's the original one on SAP, right? It's two, not three in total. Oh, those two Another flag comes in. They just whistled it a foot. Another flag. There's got to be an ejection now, I would think, if it's SAP. And now the Raiders run. Darn Martin, or it's Keith Millard. Keith Millard, the Raider defensive line coach, runs on the field and pulls SAP off the field. Rob Ryan also comes out. SAP may have been ejected. Now, meanwhile... Sapp looks like the ultimate villain here, completely lost his, his composure, but we have no idea what set him off. If he is angry with the officials or if he's angry with the Jacksonville linemen, but Sapp has been around the block and played a lot of games in this league. For him to just completely lose it like this, obviously it was provoked in some manner, but we've not seen any replay, no. nor do we know any reason why it would have been. No, we don't, we don't know anything about it other than he was flagged and flagged, and now, you know, this, Greg, this, uh, you could go beyond nope. just this game because uh, there could be uh, some league so action. Where, where's the ball going to be? I don't know. Okay. And you can't march them all off. At some point, it becomes half the distance, but they're going to be like on the five-yard line, aren't they? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you got... There was another... It's going to be on the five-yard line. Was Sam for, now it's on the two-yard line, the three-yard line. against the So Sapp has been DQ'd. He is disqualified, ejected. Asked him about the state of the team. He said consistency has been the issue. He said the Dolphins are yet to play a complete game. I think his opinion will change after so, today. Yeah. This is about as complete as you can get. Landry with a fly down. Out of bounds. Time runs out here at the end of the third quarter. There are fouls against both teams on the play during the kick. Holding, receiving team number 22. That penalty is enforced from the end of the kick, 10 yards. There was also unsportsmanlike conduct for contacting an official, number 16 of the kicking team. That 15-yard penalty is enforced, and number 16 is ejected.
That's Shea E. Ajira Tutu. And he has been Ajira ejected. 10 with 48 seconds to go. Smith fires far sideline. Third interception of the night, and this one will ice it. And it's the second of the night for Akeem Talib. That'll be the ball game. The biggest criticism I have on Gino tonight, and again, I thought it was a solid effort, but I think he missed three verticals. I think he underthrew a bunch of balls today. And you know what? You know, you know what? There's a fight over there. I'm guessing because they took a, a Nick Mangle tackle to lead out of bounds. Flags all over. There's players all over. There's officials trying to separate them. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I thought to should have got out of bounds right away. He kept dancing down the sideline, and Mangle went and hit him right around his knees. And I think that's what sparked it, Brad. We know about knee issues after Dominican Sue and John Sullivan this week. And we finally got the white jerseys separated from the blue jerseys for the most part. Yeah, let's see if that's what happened. I'm pretty sure. I thought Akeem should have got out of bounds. And I think it's Mangold that takes a shot at him on the sideline. There's no tackle there. Just run out of bounds. But look, he kind of dances and then steps back and Mangold comes and hits him. Now, when that happens on the Patriots sidelines, people don't like that. Okay, now get out of bounds. Okay, Mangold's late, and I don't like the hit at all. But I think they're both wrong. Tlaib shouldn't have danced on the sideline, and Mangold shouldn't have hit him. And then the Patriots come to their cornerback's defense. Yep. And then the flags start flying, the officials start flying, and the bodies start flying. Yep. So what was a sloppy game is going to have a messy ending here. <laughs> That's well said, partner. There are multiple fouls by the passing team on the play. Personal foul for a late hit out of bounds, number 74. That penalty will be enforced. And then a foul against an official, number 66 of that team. He is ejected. And number 60 is drawing a punch. He's also ejected. Wow. Locker room, 38 seconds early. There's the shot. And there's a punch. And then... The officials again try to separate everybody, and yep. you don't push an official. And wherever that happened in that mess, it's hard to tell. But into a Robert Turbin in, gets the football, and Owen Duran he gets down to the ten. Ogletree, who has forced six fumbles, and still getting into it. I'll tell you what, uh, Jeff Triplett's got to start threatening some ejection yeah. on some of these guys. Think, and, yeah. and you got to get control of this football game. Whether you got to go talk to each coach individually, talk to the players, you got to start threatening some ejections for, for some of these extracurricular after the play activities. But well, we had a play in the first half, four penalties on one play. Here comes a flag late. And the Rams, they've been talking too much. Everybody loves a good fight. This is ugly. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 52 of the defense. Half the distance to the goal, and it'll be a first down. Also, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 98 of the defense. Contact with an official. That is half the distance to the goal as well, and his actions disqualified himself from the game. We had to figure that was coming.
So Langford has been ejected. Oh, that is, yeah, I mean, yeah. he totally didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Stuck his arm out and hit the back judge right in the cap, knocked his helmet off. But I think in the bigger picture, the officiating crew is thinking what you said. We're going to start throwing guys out of the game. 